Hey Star Wars fans, today we're checking out another figure from the 6 inch Black Series line. This one is another exclusive and arguably one that is going to be jumping straight into my top 10 figures of 2019 when I record that early in the new year, if not later in the year, uh, later in December after Christmas time. I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Um, Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, also known as Paz Vizsla, um, he appeared predominantly in episode three of The Mandalorian. I think he may have made a very small appearance in the first episode. I can't remember, I can't be too sure. We did get a few shots at a few Mandalorians, um, but it was dark, this guy may have been there. Um, but yeah, he certainly made an impression, uh, voiced by Jon Favreau again, uh, much like his namely counterpart, Pre Vizsla. So we have here a brawny warrior encased in the strongest Beskar armor. The mysterious heavy infantry Mandalorian is part of a secretive enclave of his people. A born survivor, he guards a precious armory and helps to keep the flames of Mandalorian heritage flickering in this time of galactic chaos. And boy, did the Mandos make an impression in episode three. Whew, that was some, that was some fanboy magic. It really was. So let's just adjust this camera up a little bit and we'll get a good look at this guy. So his weapon is this big beast. And I have actually taken the liberty of gluing the backpack onto his back and this tube into the flamethrower launcher there. So we'll get into that. So we have this absolute beast of a weapon here. Nicely weathered with the silver at the end and the sort of hot steel look with the blue. There is a pivot there from the uh, from the energy part that connects up to the bottom of the jetpack. Has a adjustable sort of handle here. There's another handle on the back of the weapon here, and another one on the side. So you can adjust that and have him doing it. There's also a peg in the side, which does peg into the side of the jetpack there. So we'll just park that there for the minute while we go over the rest of the figure. So let's take a look at the jetpack. Um, it's definitely inspired by the Mandos. You know, the ones that we know, Boba and Jango, and uh, the Mandalorians from the Clone Wars and Rebels. So. We assume this is potentially a different type of jetpack that he's put together himself. Um, not necessarily a original Mandalorian piece, but cool nonetheless. It's like the bright sort of yellow orange color and the weathering over it looks great too. So as we move around, we've got a fuel hose that connects up to the flamethrower gauntlet, which is really nicely weathered. Sort of scratch and scratches and dings, great details. And like the little little keypad there, another little nick out of the armor. And if you're a Marvel Legends collector, you'll be pleased to know that the Iron Man blast effects that sort of sit in Iron Man's hands and feet um, will also fit in here and in the base of the jetpack. So you can use those effects as well on display. Um, I'm sure I'm sure there's some flame effects out there as well that will plug into this, which is a really cool feature. So we'll go and have a look at the other gauntlet here on this hand. It's more chinks. You see a lot of little dinks and dents and stuff in his armor. Um, so this guy's been in some battles, seen some stuff. Pretty cool. Got a look at his helmet. Let's just. There we go. That's a chunky looking helmet. He's got the range finder that looks very much fixed to the side there, which probably doesn't help. I'm interested to see how that would work. Another addition, he's got a few, he's taken a few shots to the head. The face shield's all scuffed up from battle. 
dings and dents in the back of the helmet as well. This thing's seen a lot of action. All right, now let's get down to his armor. Very much Mandalorian with the sort of piece in the middle of the chest. Um, definitely signifies Mandalorian. And if that's not enough, <laughs> The Mythosaur skull on the shoulder piece there. Couldn't tell you anything more. He's a Mandalorian. But yes, the armor is pretty damn good. The belt, the pouches. He's got the uh, bit of fabric hanging down the back. The butt flap. <laughs> it's not a butt flap, I know, but you yeah, imagine this is sort of a material that may have some, you know, heat proofing in it. So when that flames come down there it doesn't affect anything uh, he's not going to get the back of his legs burnt which seems like a good idea I like that his uh, upper thigh armor is mismatched you know he's he, again this is another Mandalorian that's that has you know despite his colors are pretty much all matched up you know he's still got bits and pieces that he needs to he needs to match it all up but uh, Boba Fett, I mean, he had mismatched Mandalorian armor for a long time. And the Mandalorian himself, at the start, had mismatched armor. Still has. But yeah, most of the leg armor is, is mismatched here. Um, those thigh pieces, seem, the shin pieces seem to, be, seem to be the same, just different colors. And this one's got a strap around it. really nice attention to detail with this figure he is absolutely badass love the big boots would not want to get in this guy's way if you were in a battle absolutely amazing figure I really really love this one and uh, as we managed to have it on shelves very very quickly after it was revealed um, it's obviously one they've been keeping under wraps for a while but cool to see this come out so quickly perfectly timed with the release of the episode um it may have been out a week or two later a week later if anything um just fantastic i'm looking forward to placing this guy in my top 10 so he will make an appearance without a doubt so articulation wise before we wrap it up he has a ball hinged head, ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders. Uh, he has the butterfly joints inside there, which uh, this sort of is a soft plastic, so it allows a little bit more movement. Ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, upper joint, the torso, ball hinged hips, swivel cut in the thighs, which for the most part is nicely hidden by the armor there. Double joints in the knees and ball joint it's ball joints in the ankles as well. Excuse me. So just a really, really kick-ass, badass looking Mandalorian. I'm on board, I'm on the Mando wagon. I'd love to hear in the comments below what your favourite episode is so far. So at the time of recording this, we're almost up to episode six. So love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, guys, may the force be with you. This is the way.